It's One Click Lindsay with TrafficAndLeads.com. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a really cool new ad from Facebook called a lead ad. There's going to be an article on my website telling you why these are so powerful, but this is the how-to video on how to do it. So first things first, it's only available in Power Editor, so get into Power Editor, download to Power Editor, and then get ready to get to work. First thing, hit Create Campaign. We'll go ahead and create a new campaign called Test Lead Ad where my objectives is lead generation. This is really cool. So go ahead and select that. We're going to create a new ad set and a new ad. I'm just going to put new here and new there and hit create. Uh, next thing, we're going to go visit our ad set. We are going to choose a campaign to assign this to. So I'm going to go ahead and assign it to one click Lindsay of course because that is who you're listening to and budget all of that all stays the same you can go ahead and edit your audience and get a real targeted audience for your new lead ad just like everything else um, we're gonna optimize for leads and let's go visit our ad now so ads are very similar um, to what you are used to if you've ever run a Facebook ad before except for you have this new lead form process I have a couple saved in there but for this process we're gonna hit create new form so this is essentially where you're uh, with the name of your form so we're just gonna put test form and I'll show you where that comes into play a bit later so Facebook's really cool they're gonna default to you asking for the email and full name which I recommend if you don't need anything else you don't want to ask for more than you need but Facebook's gonna let you ask for all of these things you can also go ahead and add a question there at the bottom um, I'm running an ad for a real uh, for an insurance agent right now we're asking for phone number people are we're, we're getting that phone number and it's working really well but I wouldn't recommend that unless you really need it down here add a question if you really want them to go to your website remember this all happens within Facebook you can add a question that basically says I understand that I need to go to the website after this form like if you really want people like if you want to give them a message the best way to do that right now is through the add a question box right now I'm gonna leave it for email and full name you do need a privacy policy so put that in there I'm going to put one click lindsay.com. You can put your legal disclaimers in. Next, um, add a link to your website. This shows up on the form for them to kind of go visit your site. Although, again, this all happens within Facebook, so chances aren't great they're going to make it out to your site because people like to stay in Facebook. Uh, next, preview your form. Facebook's going to allow you to see your form. Remember, we collected email, full name, and submit and create form. It's as simple as that, folks you're gonna upload changes to power or to the ad manager so uploading then it's gonna show up in ad manager I'm gonna hit refresh here so we can see it and again since these are on mobile you're not gonna be able to see it on ad manager but Facebook has a really great way for you to send a message to your phone allowing you to actually see it on your phone so if you click in here to the ad click into the ad then up here you'll see a preview then you can see it kind of what it's going to look like on a mobile phone but if you hit this little thing you'll get it says view on mobile it will actually send a notification to your mobile phone if you hang tight I will show you what that looks like on my phone for this ad finally big question is how do I get my leads yes you can integrate it with a lot of the popular email systems um, like Aweber and MailChimp but that is not as seamless as it probably will be so for right now you're gonna go to tools oh wait sorry you're gonna go to your page one click Lindsay the page you assign this form to you're gonna hit publishing tools you're going to hit forms library and there there is my test form and you can hit download and Facebook will download a link to you or download an Excel file that you can see your leads and do what you need with them. So it's easy as that to create a new Facebook lead ad. Now if I pull up my phone I will see Facebook has given me a notification which I click on and voila there's my ad with my sign up button and my awesome form that already has my information pre-populated. People can hit submit and you will have their information. 
That's been your tutorial on how to create a Facebook lead ad. This is OneClickLindsay with TrafficAndLeads.com, where the solution to your slow growth is just one click away.